and welcome back to a brand new episode of Zoo Crafting. My name is Eros, and today we are going to make some things for our brand new kitty spot. She needs a kitty bed. She needs some kitty litter. She needs a litter box. She's going to need a toy, and we'll see what all she needs. Um, it might be really cool to make some kind of pet store around here, too, and then we can go get pet supplies whenever we need to. That'd be really awesome. Um, and we're also going to visit Jacob's place today because he gave us a letter telling us that he has some animals that need adoption and maybe, just maybe, we will fall in love and we will be able to get one of those animals and make an exhibit over here on our side of the woods. Yes, that would be amazing. So we're going to go check it out and see. Maybe we'll come back. Maybe we'll think on it. Maybe we'll sleep on it. We just got to see. You never know. You never know until you try. So you're just going to go and you're just going to go see. But let's go over here. And I was fishing and hello. I mean, oh, I was fishing and then I have pet fish and things just got really awkward. Okay. Um, spots. Hi. Hi, spots. I got you some fresh fish. You need fishies. Um, and here is Poppy and hello, Daisy. And hi, Pixie. Hello, Pixie. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pixie. Does this one give me string? No, this one doesn't give me string. But thank you. That was very nice of you, Pixie. Um, all right, so let's turn all these little fishies into fish so we can g use this to feed our little kitten. And we actually have to make the cat pet food, which is raw fish and pork chops, I believe. So did I get all the fish? Has all the fish been had? All right, so let's make this into raw fish. And now we have 11 raw fish. And we also have a box. And we're going to open up this box. And we got a piece of stone. <laughs> Congratulations. You got stone. And there's a bone here. Um, and I also got leather boots. And we had one more fish. One more fish over here. All right, there we go. And then we have 13 fish. And I think, let's see. I think I have some pork chops in here. Yes, I do. So let's grab these up. And let's make some fish food. Oh, that's not a crafty table. That is a furnace. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And let's make some fish food. Oh my gosh, we made so much fish food. We did a good job. Maybe we don't need a pet store for food. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so now we have 52 fish or 52 pet food for our kitty made out of fish and pork chops. And let's see, what else do we need? Let's take a look at moo creatures and see what else they have. See, there is a wool ball, which we should make for our kitty. So our kitty has a toy, and there is a kitty bed. So we're going to need a piece of wool and some planks and some iron. I think we can do that. All right, so let's make that. And then the wool ball is just four pieces of string, which we can do that as well. So let's get to making... Um, we have iron, plank, and we need a piece of wool. I don't know if we need black wool specifically. Do I have any wool on me? I could use some of the string, um, but I kind of want to save it. All right, so let's go upstairs. Spots, we're going to make you a bed. And Pixie? Pixie! What is this? I told you no more cheese. Pixie, you bring more cheese? What is happening? Why is there all this cheese here? Pixie! Pixie. Pixie, where did you go? Pixie, don't walk away. Pixie. Pixie, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Pixie! Pixie! Yes, you're very proud of the cheese. I know. I know. You're very, very proud of it. Oh, my gosh. All right, Pixie. You win today, my friend. You win. <laughs> All right. So let's go over here. Uh, let's see if there's any wool. Uh, we do have some wool. I don't know. Do we need black wool? Maybe. Perhaps. Possibly. We might need black wool. All right. So let's go in here and kitty bed. We can go like this. Do we have... Oh, my gosh. My cat is very angry. Okay, so let's go like this, and it looks like we're... Oh, we don't need black wool. Okay. So now we have a kitty bed. And I wonder if we can make it a different color if we give it a dye or something. So let's go like this, and... Hmm, maybe the wool had to be that color. Maybe. All right, so now we have a kitty bed. Um, We also want to make a wool ball, and I do have a lot of those. Let's see. Where are they? These uh, <laughs> linen... Where did I put cotton strings. Cotton strings that Pixie has been dropping all over the place. So we do have some in here. So let us grab uh, four of these and make ourselves one of those special toys for our kitty. So here we go. And now we have a wool ball. And we also need a litter box. Yes, do not forget the litter box. So we need a piece of sand and a bunch of wood. Alright, so let's go. Let's put this wool away. 
And let's put the stone away. And let us get some... Some sand? Sand's not in here. Alright, sand should be in this one. Yes, there we go. Alright, so let's grab some sand. Let's grab a couple pieces because we're going to need some of those <laughs> to change out the litter box because we don't want it to get stinky. Alright, and then this die can go in here. And let's see, what else do we need? I think we are good. I think we are good to go. We have all the things that we need. Uh, besides actually making the actual litter box, but we're about to do that. Don't you worry. And there we go. We have a litter box. I repeat, we have a litter box. <laughs> and um, we're going to need a couple things. Let's see. We're going to need some shelves. I wonder... I don't have any pre-made, so we're going to make one of those shelves. And let's make a spruce one. Or maybe we can just borrow some from over here. Let's borrow some shelves, because we have a ton of shelves over here. And we're not really using them. Or maybe I should put the kitty supplies up here. I'm very confused. Alright, we're going to put the kitty stuff... Oh gosh, I put a shelf on a shelf. <laughs> shelf on a shelf! Yeah, we're going to... Okay, maybe. Okay, we're going to we're gonna take some of this food. We're going to put the rest of it on the shelf over here. Very indecisive. Um, let's put this fish on here. Why not? You know? Uh, let's put some sand right there. And we can put... Uh, should we put the litter box in the bathroom? This room over here is going to be the bathroom. But I don't know if she'll come up here to use it. So maybe we should put it downstairs? Alright. Pixie? Pixie? Uh, there she is. Or no. Spot. Oh gosh, she's angry. She's very angry. <gasps> no, no. Poppy, 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 poppy. Poppy. Daisy! Poppy! No! That was our pet kitty! Why? No! Daisy! Poppy! No! Bad! That was our kitty! Sit down! Bad puppies! <sighs> Looks like Pixie's happy. Oh, no, our very first pet death. No, that is not good, guys. All right, so it looks like if we ever want to get kitties again, we're going to have to have a separate kitty house because you two do not know how to behave. Oh, my goodness. That was tragic. I'm so sad. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Okay, so it looks like we're not going to set up for our new kitty after all today. All right, so let's get this pet food. Let's put it up here. We'll put this here. And then one day when we're ready, and we'll make a special kitty house for our pet kitty. And then we can get a kitty. Pixie. Okay. That is very sad. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we have the medallion, too. That is so sad. I wonder if we should have a funeral or something for our poor, poor kitty. Spots, you were a good, you were a good kitty. Oh, Daisy Poppy. All right, I'm, I need a minute, guys. I'm so sad. I just, I just need a minute, okay? Okay, sometimes I just, I just need a minute. Daisy and Poppy, I can't believe what you guys have done. So it's been a little bit of time and I've been working on stuff around the Rosarium Wildlife Park. I kind of like that name. Yes, that name is, it definitely has a nice ring to it. Uh, so I've been doing stuff around here, and we did plan on visiting Jacob today to look at all of the awesome animals that he got on his adventures and see if we wanted to adopt any. However, there has been a change of plans, aka um, I'm working on getting the textures to work uh, with the custom NPC mod. So we will visit him very, very soon, but for now we're going to go and work on the raccoon exhibit, and I'm going to show you guys the progress that I've made so far. So come on, girls. And do not harm any kitties on our way here, please. We're definitely going to have to build a really nice place for cats in the future. Have a little cat sanctuary free from, from wolves and dogs and other creatures that might harm them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here you go. Have some chicken. Have some chicken. Take it. Take the chicken. Take it. Okay, there you go. And Daisy. There you go, Daisy. Okay, 
So let's go check out the raccoon exhibit. I'm very excited to show you guys what I've done. I've started to make a really special raccoon sign with the DaVincing mod, and here we are. Look at that! We have a raccoon face! A raccoon face, oh my gosh, look at it! It's so cool! Oh, this took me a while to do, but this is amazing! And I had to put each little tiny pixel in, and oh, I'm so excited. This won't be the background of the sign, but I was just using that to actually make the sign. But oh, it's so cool! I'm so excited to like play with this mod. I've never played with this one before. And you're able to make all kinds of like awesome like pixel art and awesome little signs and all that jazz. So here is my start of my raccoon sign and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> and if you have any suggestions of what I can make the background in, if I should do some kind of border, please let me know because I will definitely look at your input and help to make this sign amazing. Uh, but inside the raccoon exhibit is a little bit bigger. I have made it bigger. I wanted it to make it bigger than it is right now currently, but we're kind of running out of room over here. And I planned on having this exhibit be kind of small since it is my first exhibit. And I wanted to get some animals in our wildlife park because I like animals. <laughs> um, but I think it'll be fine. Um, I did add in a special walnut tree over there because raccoons love eating nuts and trees and fruits and trees and all that and i added a nice little shelter type of place so let's go through here and this room in here is going to be for the person who is taking care of the raccoons and he or she can store their different types of food and medicine and stuff in this little shack over here. This door leads into the actual exhibit. And we have a nice little fallen log in here. And I did want to add some um, some extra stuff. So I have some flowers too. I have some some of these. Some nice pretty, pretty stuff. Um, I'm not sure how accurate they are, but they are beautiful. And I do have some brown leaves too to give some different variations of textures and colors in here. So we're just going to place some of these down. And we're gonna put some over here. I really, I like all these like leaf and like ground coverings. They're amazing. Um, we're gonna place some right there. And we ran out. And mushroom, ooh, can we put a mushroom on here? No, what about this one? No, I wanna put it, I wanna put it on the thing. Okay, um, let's see. Where should we put these little white flowers? How about one right about here? And then go over here and put let's put this pink one. Oh, that's so pretty i like pink i like pink guys <laughs> and then over here how about we put oh we can't put a mushroom oh well i guess we could put one there okay well those leaf thingies are gone now forever um i do have these special roses um how about we put this rose right about there yeah i think that looks pretty nice and then we might have to get some different colors because right now we just have pinks and whites and a little bit of brown, but we'll see. Um, how about we put this mushroom here and what about a little flower right there? And I do have lavender too. We can put in some lavender. Get some purples in the mix. So how about we put a lavender right about there and let's put another one in the back right here. And then maybe we should add some like water plants too, maybe some reeds or something, but we'll see. But yes, flowers definitely make everything a lot beautifuler. That's not a word, but but it is today. <laughs> um, but another thing that I wanted to show you is this little room over here. And there is a vine in the way, but there is a little hole right here for the raccoons to go inside. And this is going to be their shelter area where they can go if it's raining or if they just want a break from being out there they can come in here and I do want to add some more stuff if you guys have any suggestions of what I can add inside the nice little shelter for the raccoons um I was thinking maybe putting like some of the post I think so it is let me look at the post yes some of these things maybe for the raccoons to climb on because raccoons like to climb uh, maybe we'll try to work in something like that or maybe we'll try to put in a nice little leafy type of nest but if you guys have any suggestions once again please let me know you too can be a raccoonologist yes you can oh my gosh door please please let me in <laughs> but yes we had a very derpy episode today and things did not go as planned, but I am still proud of what I've done and of what I've accomplished today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoo Crafting. And my name is Eros, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!